Bath Wildkins have played in seven state softball tournaments, the last coming in 2004. Today in Bucyrus, trying to earn their way to Akron as they take on Maumee in the postseason for the second year in a row. Bath defeated the Panthers in last year's district final. What would await the Wild Kittens in their Elite Eight goodie bags? Top of the first, Wild Kittens load the bases on three straight walks. Kimmy Reynolds at the plate, and the senior looks at ball four. Jenna Holler scores one nothing Wild Kittens. Base is still loaded. Panthers change pitchers. Next batter, Kara Deansberger, hit by pitch. Alyssa Manley come on down. 2 0 bath. Cassie Best then drives one to left. Brooke Murray makes the catch. Tara Hur tags up and scores. 3 0 bath without a base hit. With two out, Ellie Dakin delivers a base knock into center field. Alex Rube and Deansberger score. 5 0 bath before Mommy comes to the plate. Top of the second, two on. Wildkins up 5 1. Julia Miller. Grounder into left field, Holler scores from third, Manley right behind her, 7-1 Wildkins. Top of the fourth now, 7-2 Bath, Reynolds at the plate, delivers a base hit into left field to lead things off. Later in the frame, Best comes through again. Base knock into center field, pitch runner Rube scores again, 8-2 Wild Kittens leading. Move to the top of the fifth, Bath aggressive on the base pass and it pays off. Holler and Manley on base, Miller flies out to right field, Holler takes third, Manley gets in a rundown and Holler scores. It's 9-2. Go to the seventh inning. Carly Fry laces a single in to left. Ball bobbled. She takes second. A couple of batters later. Manley fly ball to center field. Janie Hudson makes the catch. Fry tags up and scores from third. Bath leading 10-3. After Julia Miller walks, Reynolds unloads on the Kiara Hurley offering a two-run blast. Second straight year, Reynolds has homered against Maumee in the postseason as Bath wins 12-3. Reynolds goes the distance in the circle, striking out six as the Wildkins are headed back to the state tournament. It's an honor, you know. Uh, like you said, we haven't been there. And, you know, these girls, great group of girls, and we're excited. I mean, we hope for it and always hope for the best, um, but honestly, no, you know, um, I couldn't be happier to do it with a better group of girls, though. This is the time to do it. It feels great. It's a great accomplishment, and it just, we're excited. We're ready to go. You know, that, I think that was just sheer general, and she was ready to get this game over with and move on, and, um, you know, what a way to end the game there. Top of the order, Holler and Manley setting the plate in the victory. That was key. That was important. We told them right out the box, um, you know, go hard, go all out, and uh, it paid off. Um, they looked for their pitches at the plate, and even if they um, weren't getting base hits, they were producing extra runs for us that way. It's really important. Jenna and I getting on base really helps with Julia because Julia's a really strong hitter, and we know we have a lot of faith in her, and we know she can get us in. I mean... I think we all played great throughout the whole lineup, and any time that we can start out that well, it just adds to the excitement. So the Wildkins are going to Akron. They will play Talmadge Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Talmadge knocking out Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's today. Sorry, LeBron. In the bottom half of that bracket, it's Newark Licking Valley taking on Jonathan Alder. Again, the Wildkins will play the early game on Thursday, and then the Division II state championship game will be 10 a.m. on Saturday.